Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download a program called NAPS2. That pretty much means not another PDF scanner 2. Now this program is an awesome program. So let's say if you have an HP scanner and then you had and they had their own special type of program structure that they use on HP. And then you have a Dell and they have their own special program from that one. And then you have a brother printer has a scanner on there and it has the exact same different systems and they all have different programs based on their own system out there and the structure and I guess it's a little pain in the butt every time you just simply just need to use a scanner well this program can pretty much take place of all the abilities what the other ones can do from simply putting them into PDF files into scanning them into images to sending them to emails and so many cool things and it's pretty much an alternative I've installed this program so many times for many different companies out there and it's just a better choice to use so let's go ahead and just jump right into this video and show you how to install this program. So the first thing to do is go ahead and just go to any browser. I'm going to go ahead and go to Google Chrome. Once you get to there, you're going to type in naps2.com and it'll take us to this site right here. And it tells us it is pretty much not another PDF scanner too. It's pretty much scans documents, types, so many useful. It tells you stuff from files into images, can crop, so many things like there. Regardless, we're going to select the download file and let this program come in. Seems a pop-up came up on If you want to help them out, go for it. I'm not any sponsor for that at all. But here's the program. You'll click the file and you'll probably be prompted. So go ahead and press yes. And from this point, I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I do not need this anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK. You'll have some regular information of the license agreements. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that and just accept it. Then press next. You have pretty much this is the default location for the destination will be installed. It's up to you if you want to change that. That's your responsibility. I'm going to leave it as is so. Press next. It's going to create a shortcut file named as it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is also. Then press next. And actually right here, I'm going to go ahead and create a desktop shortcut that will actually be there to make it easier for you. Then press next and in press install and pretty much you got it installed already and press run and we'll press finish. And here is the program. Now technically right now I do not have a scanner with me, but when you get to this option, you'll pretty much select it. If you had multiple printers right here, you can select which one and I'll scan the file and then you can pretty much well, import right here. There's all different types right here. Profiles, OCR, pretty much text, import photos. You can save the file as PDFs. You can save it as images. You can send it as an email. Now, email's a little clever like this. If you're interested in email, you have to pretty much have to be able to set up like your mail right here. Or if you're using like Outlook Mail, the additional software, you have to choose your default one for that to be installed. You can print the files that are being scanned. You can do rotations up and down. You can edit the images. And it's a very very useful program you actually can look up in the web and just see tutorials on there and it will be so much easier to use but that's pretty much it thanks for watching from helton's computer repair and i will see you on the next video thanks for watching guys if you just like this video then hit that button but if you like it and you want to see more hit that like button get subscribed comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see consider checking out our merch store link in the video description and for the rest i will see you on the next video